Good evening, guys. Welcome, Life Apollos. Happy to have you here, as always. Uh, I realize over the last week or so, we have had a lot of very big whistle and diesel stories, and a lot of that we thought over the last week or so uh, was sort of building toward a moment, and according to some of the stuff that we have to talk about today, that moment might have arrived. And listen, uh, no hard feelings if whistle and diesel is not your cup of tea. Uh, we have timestamps on today's episode, as well as every other episode that we've ever done in the last uh, year and a half. I want to say if it's not your cup of tea feel free to skip ahead we have like three brand new supercars to talk about uh, very exciting stuff uh, make sure to look at the timestamps below in case you're sort of tired of whistle and diesel news and as always make sure to stop the channel if you love automotive and supercar community news and with that ladies and gentlemen beard nation welcome to your news of the day all right first story up today guys uh, this is a long time coming we think Think. So we have reason to believe now that Whistle and Diesel is making the move to rumble and uh, potentially leaving some of the social media entities that he currently exists on uh, behind him. Now, in case you guys missed some of the bigger stories over the last week or so, uh, a lot of the sort of reinvigoration of his issues with like Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok happened a couple days ago when he posted this Instagram story uh, saying, your story goes against our community guidelines. A uh, story post that was just reposted from another page on Instagram was removed moved and then saying that Instagram was holding posts against him from nine months ago uh, and saying that his account is at risk of being deleted permanently. Now I'm sure you guys know he has a massive Instagram following. His following dwarfs pretty much every other major automotive uh, YouTuber out there. Daily Driven Exotics, Shmi, Stradman, none of them stand a chance against the crazy numbers of Whistle and Diesel currently. Now when we talked about this issue a couple days ago we talked about the fact that like you know eventually he might need to move off off of sort of the big three here, Instagram, YouTube, and uh, we'll say TikTok for now, Facebook, meh, whatever, um, to something else like OnlyFans or Rumble. We've been mentioning that for a number of months now, and we might have just gotten our answer. Last night, this was posted, and it just sort of shows the crazy frustration that Whistle and Diesel has uh, with the platforms that he's on currently. So we shared two different pictures. The one that you're seeing right now uh, shows what appears to be a large uh, brush fire, a tree, or something with the excavator in front of it, uh, with the caption below. And this says an absolute ton, so listen up. Uh, well, I was going to go live in the excavator while I'm working tonight, since there hasn't been any new videos for a while, but it looks like Instagram blocked me from that uh, for a capybara story saying he committed war crimes. I literally can't dumb down my content enough anymore. It's so neutered, it's not even who I am. Everything has to be worded like I'm around a group of Jehovah's Witnesses. If you blink wrong, they'll delete your account. Can't upload half the blank I want to YouTube or TikTok either. And then the second picture that he shared was this, showing a screenshot from Instagram saying, blocked from sharing live video posts from your account have recently been removed for going against our community guidelines. So live video sharing has been temporarily blocked. So what do we start looking for? We start looking for signs of him taking his presence to OnlyFans, Rumble, or some other competitor that maybe I don't even know of, and look what Instagram story just got posted. He simply put up this story right here. Whoever took my username on Rumble already DM me. I just want to talk and definitely won't publicly humiliate you. It certainly looks like, given all the frustration, all the blocked stories, the neutering of posts, uh, not being able to take things to YouTube, to TikTok, being deleted off of TikTok, uh, sharing this post about Rumble, it sounds like he's going to be moving his talents elsewhere. Now, I would imagine he's still going to keep some of his other social media entities behind. Uh, deleting it might be a little bit too extreme in that case, uh, but I, I absolutely see him moving to Rumble at this point. I would be stunned if he did not have some presence on that platform moving forward. Now, I really want to get your perspective on this, guys. This is one of the largest automotive-centered channels anywhere on YouTube, 30 to 40 million views a month, uh, dwarfs just about everybody in this space. Uh, I want to know what you think about if you were to leave YouTube and Instagram and TikTok to go to Rumble or some other platform, would you follow him there or is it too much uh, work, too much angst to have to start off on another social media platform if you're not already on Rumble? Obviously, Rumble has been in the news a lot over the last couple days. They offered Joe Rogan $100 million to move his sort of uh, crazy spot Spotify existence over to their platform. Uh, a lot is going on right now, and it sounds, from my sort of outside perspective, that Rumble is starting to become a haven for people that are 
are tired of traditional platforms, whether that's Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, or even Spotify to a certain uh, sort of extent. Now, given all that's happened, I think what we're probably gonna do is reach out directly to Whistle and Diesel for comment on this, see if he has any plans he's willing to share at this particular point. I'll tell you what though, guys, if you were to leave YouTube for Rumble uh, and Instagram as well, uh, it would make pretty big national news. We're talking about one of the larger YouTube stars. Everything he puts out there, five to 10 million views, it seems. Uh, there are very few people that have the sort of name recognition that he has right now, and him taking his presence off of the current platform for something new, that, that's a really big deal. Anyway, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. We will do our best to keep you apprised of the situation as it unfolds, but uh, get ready for some big shockwaves, I think. All right, moving along, guys. We have some big new supercars and interesting cars to talk about going to all sorts of different channels. And I wanna make our first uh, car that we're talking about a very special shout out. So one of the coolest guys that I've met anywhere in the automotive community is Will Collette. You guys probably know him as Bill Co on Instagram. He's done some awesome stuff with a lot of amazing YouTubers, uh, does some stuff for voodoo engineering and exhaust uh, right now, and is just one of the nicest people that I think I've ever met in the last couple of years in the automotive community. And he celebrated an incredible milestone today, and that is getting his first supercar ever. Uh, I'm very excited to announce that he has purchased an Audi R8, the V10. Will, if you're watching, uh, I know you have some incredible plans for this vehicle that you'll be revealing over the next couple of weeks. I can't spoil oil anything, but it's gonna be an absolute showstopper when it's done. Everything that I've heard, uh, very, very excited about. But make sure to go check him out, guys. He's very active on Instagram and YouTube. We'll have his links in the description below. Will, if you're watching, nobody deserves it more, man. Enjoy this day. There is nothing like getting your first supercar. You deserve every moment. Next up, guys, more new cars on TJ Hunt's channel. This one called Sabrina's New Supercar. Now, if you haven't checked it out, feel free to do so and skip away if you wanna be surprised over there. But it's a new C8 and a fantastically specced one, if I might say that. Congratulations to both TJ and Sabrina. Incredible car, very, very exciting to see the progression of cars that she's had over the years. And uh, just go check it out, wish them big congrats. Very, very awesome day. Next up guys, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of JR Garage because their, their title says it all. It's, we bought the new Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo wagon. I love the new Cross Turismo wagon. It is one of my favorite Porsches that has ever been made. I really want one. I just can't sort of uh, rationalize buying it if we still have the Ferrari FF. So maybe at some point, if we get rid of that, maybe we go with another wagon, but always been a fan of shooting brake and wagon designs, and I just absolutely love it. Big congrats to JR Garage. Can't wait to see. I mean, you can't really do anything with the engine, but I think it's gonna be a fantastic car for you to own. Then we get a video that I meant to mention yesterday, and I literally just forgot and realized when Megan was editing the video later, and that's Donut Media new video. The video is called Forza, Everything You Need to Know Up to Speed. Um, I love Forza. I've been a fan of it for many, many years since the early days. Uh, it's kind of cool because I'm a big video game person on the outside of the automotive world. If we didn't have an automotive channel, I'd be doing video games instead. Uh, it's just how much I care about it, big part of my childhood. And racing games like Gran Turismo uh, and Forza always been a big part about it. Very cool to hear the history of this game uh, from the Donut Media team. So make sure to go check it out, guys. If you're big video game fans and you want to learn something, Donut Media has you covered today. Winner of the best intro of the day is Savage Garage. Their latest video, we got a JDM mini truck. What should we do with it? I'm super jealous. I want this now too. Uh, watch the first 30 seconds of their video. You will be very, very happy that you did. Super fun, amazing editing, awesome truck and they are just having an absolute blast with this vehicle. Uh, very, very awesome stuff. Big congrats to Savage Garage on a very fun small car, or truck rather, excuse me. Then we got Ammo NYC's latest video, most disgusting, oily, greasy, GMC truck detail ever, complete disaster, interior detailing. Um, what can we say about Ammo NYC that we have not said already? Uh, they have an incredible channel that shows what detailing looks like on the absolute craziest projects that haven't been touched in decades upon decades. Very, very fascinating video. If you like watching things get clean and sort of refurbished to a particular degree, I think a lot of us do, it's a great channel 
channel for that, and you'll probably learn something about the detailing world as well. Last two of the day, guys. Uh, F Spot coming in hot with a crazy video from a couple days ago. 16 minutes of absolute mayhem in Los Angeles compilation. Uh, I'm gonna leave it to F Spot to do that sort of work because I can't imagine for a moment living in LA. Uh, I've got sort of a big prejudice against sort of the, the craziness that occurs in LA on a daily basis. I like it in the calm and collected uh, Colorado area much better. Couldn't pay me to move to California, but it's fun to watch the shenanigans that F-Spot seems to find on an almost daily basis. And ending our day, Elliot Alvis coming in hot. These are the weirdest cars of the 2022 Barrett-Jackson Scottsdale auction. A Prius with a question mark afterward, having a great cameo from Hoovy's Garage in the beginning and later parts of the video. Uh, Elliot Alvis also an extraordinarily nice guy and produces uh, a very unique, fun version uh, of what I would imagine. If you like Hoovy's Garage and uh, like other people like Tavarish, I think you're really going to like what Elliot Alvis puts out uh, all the time. Fantastic channel and a great video. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm gonna wrap up the video right here because I have to go buy some sushi because I'm super hungry and you didn't need to know that, but whatever. Anyway, have a great day. We'll see you later. Sub to the channel if you love automotive and supercar community news. Stay safe, sane, and healthy. I don't know if I said that already. I'm out. Bye.